Hi, it's George from Cyprus Insight and today we're on the way home from Paphos and Joel has asked us to nip into Ziggy and have a look around. So we've parked the car in this free car park. There we are, Ziggy. Ziggy is right on the coast. I think it's the only village on the coast in Cyprus. Not too sure about that. And it's named after the Greek word for weighing. They used to bring down carob sticks from all round Cyprus and grind them down in Ziggy and get them ready for exporting and they'd weigh them and then export them. So there you go, Ziggy, famous for its carob sticks. And now it's quite famous for fish restaurants. We'll go down towards the seafront, down that way, and probably come across quite a few sea restaurants. Not sea restaurants, fish restaurants, should I say. <laughs> we won't be eating here today. We had a big breakfast at the hotel. But we'll have a look around, see what there is. Have a little bit of a rest and then on to Leo Bedry. So this could be one of the old warehouses where they brought down the carob sticks, grind them down, weighed them and sent them all around the world. It's a great alternative to sugar. Yeah, it's really pretty. You can smell the fish, can't you? So all the carob seeds weigh the same. And years ago, they used to use the carob seed to weigh jewellery and that's where the carrot come from from the carob seed nice wasn't it nice look I'll just show you again all these restaurants around little square all serving fish and I think there's some more warehouses here isn't it could be there's only one left that's right let's have a look at this one look oh, it looks like they uh, Renovating it, look. Now oh, what they're going to make it into, look. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Right, so this must be Ziggy Harbour. Okay. A lot more fish restaurants down there. And I think... There's a fishmonger's here. Not sure. Yeah, it's a fishmonger's. Right, let's go to the harbour, shall we? Have a look around. Another car park. So, what's the time now? Uh, it's quarter to two, so it's lunch time. So there's a lot of cars around. They've all come down. It's Sunday today. They all come down for fish lunch. Oh yes, that's true. It's the first Sunday after lockdown as well. So all the restaurants are reopened, or most of them. Wow, 
That's well packed. Look at that. Great big fish restaurant on the harbour. nice isn't it and you can see where the gas is coming in down there there it is from the gas field right we'll go down towards the uh, big bulks over there the fishing boats, we'll go and have a look at a few fishing boats. Alright, so there's a f another fish restaurant up there. Oh, another fish for a strut. Right, so Steve, one of our friends, is looking out for a yacht. And there's one here, Steve, look. I think it was a fishing boat. And they've taken the front bit off where the nets go. And bits and pieces tarted it up a bit and look there's the phone number there inside for Sal there you go perfect so I think it's just got a single cabin inside there you are one bedroom yacht There it is, there's the other fish restaurant there. Yep. Right, look at that one, that's nice. I think they call them schooners, these boats. I'm not 100%, but that's a nice sailing yacht isn't it guys there we are just come out the water been uh, totally renovated look at that and that lovely job beautiful there's a load out here I think I've passed a crane on my right taking the yachts out Oh look, there's a ramp to take your boat out, that's convenient, and uh, just going to show you this guys, this is what they've got in the Aya Napa Marina, what they've been putting in the sea to make the marina up, oh, there they are, those, they look like jacks, remember the little jacks you put on your hand and flick up made of concrete and so this is the new entrance it looks like to the marina look at that that's nice comes through like that and a new wall being built right at the back to protect it right, there's a big traditional fishing boat there in front of me oh. And there's another one there. Look 
not many of these big ones around, is there? Well, I see they're little tiny ones. Oh, there's the man fixing his nets. Oh, he uses hooks. There he goes. Hello. There we are. He's putting hooks on there. Let's have a look what he's doing. Oh, so these have just been out. And now he's relaying them. So guys, what's happened is they bring the catch in here, like that, take the fish off, okay, and then just put the hooks and the line into this bucket, and now he's taking the line out the bucket and putting the hooks around the bucket. There we are, and arranging around the bucket, and then when they go out, they just sling this out, and off it goes. And it's also fixing some of the hooks. Need fixing. There's some broken, and there's the nets. Let's go out on this turn table here. Here, they are. They go out on this. That's what the nets go out on. You go hundreds of hooks. Look. So they start off here. Can you see the beginning? That bit of rope. And then they let the whole lot go, and off it goes. Loads of hooks going out. There's another one of these big fishing boats. There are some yachts have come out for refurbishment. Anti-scowling, I think they call it. Oh, sorry, anti-fouling, that's right. Anti-fouling. Back in the Bazardtine times, it was called Aos Eleni, or Aya Eleni, one of the two. And apparently she was Constantino the Great's mum. Okay, so it was uh, named after her. Right, on the way back guys, we'll film some of the garden centres that we'll pass. There's quite a lot of garden centres around here. One of them being Kew Gardens. We have done a lot vlog of Kew Gardens. But we won't be going there today, we'll just pass them and film from the car. Looks like they've got a little bit of a banairi going on here. They've got the honey balls and some stalls out selling DVDs and toys. There we go some traditional honey look this one's got it inside the jar look
there's a carob syrup and I'm going to get one of these look property honeycomb just five euros let's have that right so I've got me uh, honey cone there it is and I didn't get any carobs syrup because I've got some indoors right there's some strawberries you can buy lot of strawberry plants there you go oh and she's selling some olives as well look right so we've got our honey uh, is that our car park no no uh where did we park the car no idea we'll go down here and turn right Captain's Table Fish Tavern. Look at that. Oops. It looks like the strawberries have arrived. There we are. Look, there's the Department of Fisheries and Marine Research there. Right, so we're going back through the little square where there's a pretty fish restaurant. And walk through. Yeah, it looks like everyone's eating fish. Lots of calamari coming out, squid. Yeah, we saw one of these trees down towards Paphos, didn't we? Look at the size of that bumblebee on that tree. It's massive. What a lovely colour. As I said before, on the way back, we passed the big garden centres and that agricultural research centre as well so that's going to be on the way back we'll film that in the car what a lovely little village looks like that's another one of those warehouses have a look over here. That's all shut. Around the side. See what's there. Not a lot. A few of our viewers like old tractors and they've commented on some of the old tractors that are still working out here I've just come across one it's taken the back of a truck and used it as a trailer and there's the old tractor still in use there we are
Right, now for car parking area. Right, so we're on the way back to the highway through Ziggy. This is the way back, isn't it? Yep, I think so. Okay, I'm going to pass quite a few garden centres. below.